From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A new survey asked workers what frustrates them most about coworkers. It's not stuff like personal hygiene, loud talking, or dumb jokes. Over half of us are frustrated by coworkers who don't pull their weight, leaving others to pick up the slack. In our defense, though, it's hard to pull your own weight when you're over 300 pounds. British authorities officially approved plans for a controversial traffic tunnel to be built beneath Stonehenge. They also gave the OK for the overhead zip line. A woman in Colorado is suing Starbucks after she spilled a large tea they served her, which scalded and killed her dog. Great, we're back to the McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit again, and this time we get to add the fine folks from PETA into the mix. Our national debt has now topped $20 trillion. Eh, you know, a trillion here and a trillion there, and after a while that could add up. Good news if you want to shoot your loved ones. The only catch is they have to already be dead. A bizarre and surprisingly popular new service allows you to lock and load your loved one's ashes. The internet company Holy Smoke, based in Stockton, Alabama, offers what they call a tribute to your outdoorsman or woman like no other. They'll gladly turn your loved one's ashes into fully functioning bullets of a caliber of your choosing. Holy Smoke sends the family a case of up to 250 bullets for display in the home or to take on a hunting trip. And hey, they say it costs only a fraction of the cost of most burial services. Prices begin at $1,250 for the 250 rounds for shotguns and pistols and 100 rounds for rifles. Perfect for the dead relative who always used to shoot their mouth off. Hillary Clinton says if it were not for James Comey, Russia, WikiLeaks, Facebook, fake news, voter ID laws, or America's sexism and misogyny, she would currently be President of the United States. In other words, Hillary is putting the blame straight on the fact she didn't have enough excuses. Hurricane Irma forced Disney World in Florida to close for only the fifth time since it opened. And with the price of admission to the park, that's a loss equivalent to the GDP of some third-world countries. A British man has admitted that his fairly miraculous swim across the Hoover Dam Reservoir happened while he was drunk. Speaking about this now infamous August 10th experience, Aaron Hughes says it all happened after a 37-hour bachelor party bender with friends in Las Vegas. He describes it as a brutally hot day and says that as they stood under the 726-foot-tall structure, he decided, I'm going for a swim. What he didn't know was that some 275 people have died at the dam over the last decade, and no one has successfully made it across the full width of the Colorado River there. But he apparently had luck on his side. Only one of the 10 hydroelectric turbines were powered on during his swim. He says, I swam from Arizona to Nevada. I went across first and then swam back. It took about 30 minutes to do. Even though I was knackered halfway across, I knew I had to get to the other side. He did say that he was about 160 feet from the dam and felt a strong tug. I was sucked toward the wall and had to swim hard. He says the police were waiting for him and handcuffed him for what he didn't realize wasn't permitted, and he says there aren't any no-swimming signs posted. He ended up getting fined about $330, but as the tattoo on his body reads, no regrets. So apparently you can swim across the Hoover Dam, you just have to be drunk to do it. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.